a completely PC-free method where we will be able to recover our device. If you have a screen lock or have forgotten your Gmail account. In this video tutorial we're going to use a completely updated where we will be able to recover this device since. The first thing it had was a screen lock and we reset it. We formatted it. When our device completely reset, we were left with. Now it's like this, and we're left with this little padlock on the top left. As you can see, we have this little scandal, which is what we're going to do. Today in this video tutorial, first of all, we're going to connect. Which is a Wi-Fi network to be able to start the recovery process. Let's click on it. We'll click here in the manual to connect to a Wi-Fi network. When a device suddenly malfunctions, and when we have already reset our the phone, and it doesn't have any lock or padlock, we can skip the count by clicking here on skip. And it would give us what is access to be able to access our device again. We connected to the Wi-Fi network. Another thing I want to mention is that the video description and the first pinned comment have others. Completely different methods. Additional methods for those who want to use a new method. Updated, we have a PC method. We also have methods without. PCs know how to fix and recover your device in a way. They'll be able to easily and quickly go to that description now that we're going to do it. It's getting to where that screen lock appears, it also appears. In the Google account when we get to that point, that's where there. We will be able to recover the device, we will start the process from there. We're about to start that process. We also want to tell you that YouTube's Enable the member community option so that you can. This would help our community grow more and more each day. What would be the benefit to that community? We will be posting advanced videos. So that they can enjoy our content. This would take us directly to where we see that screen lock. We hope that you focus. Here we see our screen lock, which was the first thing we did. To set it up because it had gotten stuck here, it tells us to use my Google account. Here we have this option that says, use my Google account. Here's ours. Device completely locked for those people who always. Uh, let's say you suddenly don't know the screen lock, but here it tells us. If you know your email address, you can add it here and click next. Then you add the password and it will give you access without needing to watch this video. The tutorial, even without watching it completely, also gives you the option if you don't know the email address. You can also add your phone number. You add it and you'll receive it. A verification code would also give you the following settings to be able to Access your device, but the phone number has to be outside, not in this. Not a phone, but a phone that can send you a recovery code. Let's click here where it says, forget Gmail, and write anything here. We do the same thing here. We do the same thing down here too. We're going to do this one minute and a half at a time. After that minute and a half, We'll go back to the beginning. This would help us enable a feature that we will need. In order to complete the recovery process. As we said from the beginning of. This video tutorial is completely PC free. For those people who want to try other methods, both via PC. We'll be leaving those video tutorials in the description. Also in the first pinned comment. Let's do this, this would help us. 
to enable that function in order to complete. The recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. That you don't miss any details and can find a solution for this device. After that minute and a half, then what? What we're going to do now is go back to the beginning. Since we're here at the start, we're going to do the following. We're going to go back to the start, A. Let's go here to accessibility. We select Talbat. Let's enable that Talbat. Let's click here, double click, and then double click here to finish. We select double click. Now we deny denial and now we deactivate again. We click on deactivate. Okay. Okay. Let's click the screen several times. We're going back. We're going to click here. Add new network. We could previously access this as well. Well, on some devices it can happen that they can enter. From here, from the QR code, the gallery will appear here. Access to the gallery, but this method no longer works on these devices. What is working is that it brings us what? It's this little nut that appears here on the right side. Let's select that little nut. Being here in this little Turkish town. Now what we're going to do is go down to the last ones. Options and we're going to reset these four options that appear here. Let's see if I didn't click it. Let's click, reset, reset. The third one here we eliminate this, having said that, having already done that. So what we're going to do now is restart our disk device. We're going to restart our phone to then complete the recovery process. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. So you don't miss any details and can solve what it is, and it can fix the recovery of your device. We also have other completely different methods that we have left in the video description and in the first pinned comment. In order to solve this problem. Okay, let's wait for our phone. Restart to then begin the recovery process. Let's wait, it's starting here, it's already starting. Now let's see what we need in order to. In order to solve this problem with this device. The first thing we're going to do is click here on home. Let's click on start. We click here to add what we are going to do. Now click here to scan this QR code. But how are we going to scan it? What do we need? Well, first of all, we need a different device. Phone, uh, that has a Google account. It doesn't matter, we'll show you here, click here. We'll give it to you here, we're going to show you an email that we have. We already have this email, which is the first thing we. We need to be able to synchronize this phone with this one. We're going to synchronize it. Now we need a screen lock. Here it is. We have the screen lock. Now we need to use this Google image that appears here. Let's click on the little camera. Let's scan this QR code. Here we get the option to log in. Let's log in. Here we'll click where it says continue. We're going to sync both devices. We will synchronize the account and screen lock across these two devices. We need to add the lock for this device. And those two options would automatically synchronize. Both the screen lock and the Google account, we'll wait for it to take us there. Now we're going to enter the same one as the other one. 
The device here would be giving us this access. Now the Google account would also be synchronized. We'll wait a few seconds until it takes us to the next section. That's why we haven't. Well, now we're going to press the power button. Press and hold the volume down button simultaneously and we'll make it so. Our devices will automatically restart with those two buttons. Let's wait for our phone to take us to what it is. This is how we will begin and complete the recovery process. If your device already has that screen lock and account. From Google, with this video tutorial, if you follow it step by step without skipping ahead, you will. You'll be able to solve this problem so easily and quickly, you'll solve everything. Also, if you want to try other completely different methods, additional methods, you can go to the video description and in the first. In the comments, you'll be able to find those other methods. Now that our phone is starting up correctly, what we are going to do is complete the configuration process. Let's start it. Let's start. We'll click here on add. Now it would take us to the section where it will tell us that the account was successfully added. When we see the option that the account was successfully added, that's because the video tutorial was successful. We're going to do it. As we can see here, here we have the email. We'll click next and now it will take us to the services. From Google, once we're here, we'll click where it says, don't copy, and we'll. It would take us directly here. We click skip, we're not going to add anything. If we click on, skip here, it would take us to these Google Play services. The email address is also there, as you can see here. We're going to accept, we'll accept, we'll accept. Here we click on jump, we click on jump. Let's wait a few more seconds to see where it takes us. Until it takes us directly to the beginning. Now we're going to press these letters here where it says, forget. We click on the blue letters, then we're going to click on, jump, here. Here we're going to click on jump, here we're going to click. Click here to add it, and that would be the final steps. We're going to click here. We'll wait a few more seconds. We'll wait here. We be at the last step. We're going to start it here now. Let's start it and we'll be finalizing the recovery process. That's why I'm telling you, if you watch the video step by step, you'll be able to troubleshoot and recover this device in an easy and fast way.